Hey, welcome back to Dig Dug Gold. This is Steve, and uh, we've got a really, really interesting video here for you today. Um, as many of you know, I have been messing around with a DYI fluid bed system uh, for one reason, because I don't have a whole lot of room to work with, and two, uh, the material that we have here in Alabama is all clay pretty much and I need something that will soak and wash uh, the clay out and so I have been messing around with certain type of fluid bed systems and I think I figured out something that combines uh, several different systems in once uh, then you add the fact that my wife gave me kind of an ultimatum to clean up my mess uh, in my makeshift workshop here on the porch of my condominium apartment <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't have a uh, room really to run us loose uh, so I've come up with something else so that's what we're going to do today is we're going to construct a fluid bed system using everyday stuff okay let me show you what I'm dealing with or what my wife is dealing with when I'm gone on the road <laughs> Here we are. See, it's all your fault. Flower Gold Wizards, Alan Robinson, Utah Avalanche. You got me encouraged and, and propped me to start making my own stuff so that I could save a bunch of money and go out prospecting. It's all your fault. Of course, none of it is my fault. I'm just building the stuff. I don't organize it. <laughs> anyway, I appreciate you guys so much. I really do. So what we're going to do today is we're going to construct a flu bed system. This is where we started from. It worked decent, but still wasn't quite great because whenever water filled up my bucket here, the plastic was so flimsy that it ended up tipping it over and it just kind of created more of a mess and so I needed to study it and that's what I did so I've actually combined several technologies together to come up with something that I think is going to work fantastic and allow me to actually take my sluice down my backpacker sluice and fold it back up and create some more room and my wife thinks I'm creating room of course for uh, her to clean this up but the mad scientist here is actually cleaning the room up, uh, combining things so that I can create more things. Yeah, yeah, we like that idea. So come on back. Okay, we're back. So this is what I'm going to use. Um, I bought this plastic bin for like 87 cents at Walmart. I like the plastic bin with a flat um, bottom in it. I'm not going to use it for what it was designed for. Uh, you'll see this uh, pub mix box. I like this particular kind because the plastic is stiff and it's got a black screw on top for it. Then I've got a bunch of elbows, one and a half uh, and two inch elbows here, one and a half elbows actually. Um, I'm not sure what this thing is, but this is uh, one of the key ingredients to being able to uh, use what we're going to use. Uh, I've got two pipes, a three quarter inch and a one and a half inch pipe here. And I've got a couple more elbows here uh, for the uh, three quarter inch pipe, a PVC pipe. Uh, I'm also going to be using a 45 degree angle. Nos, nozzle and I'm going to fit a sprayer nozzle to that too uh, to give it some pressure when it's in the um, the uh, pub mix 
uh, container. It's important to use um, a uh, something that you can see in so you can adjust your valves as accordingly. Um, I'm also going to be using a funnel, a large funnel. I like this particular kind. I got this at AutoZone actually. Uh, it's made for um, changing oil of course. Um, but I like it because it gives me some type of filtration system, or not filtration, but a uh, hopper system. But if you notice this on the side here, there's a bunch of screen meshes that fit in there as well, that just clip in there. So for your fine gold and things like that, you can use that as a way to filter out uh, your sands. Okay? Now, uh, I, for my particular use, I'm not going to be using that because what I've done is I'm going to construct a not only a fluid bed system, but I'm going to have a cyclone, a cyclone system uh, that I'm going to build out of the pub mix container. And then I'm going to uh, use a deep trap. Uh, coming out of that system uh, uh, as well to trap the fine gold. So what will happen is I will do this upside down on top of the container. I have a screw lid here where the heavy gold will drop down to and I can just screw it out and pull out the gold and the idea is that the dirt would separate and would come through this system here, this pipe here, and then through my elbows, create a deep well where I'll use a, uh, I'll fit it with a silicone mat here. I put, uh, I've taken some carpet from, from Home Depot that was two dollars and forty-eight cents, uh, one by one, one foot by one foot, and I'll cut it to fit my trap here. And I'll lay it inside there. So the large gold will will fall to the bottom where I can unscrew it and then screw it back on. Be nice and easy that way. And as it funnels out uh, this uh, 45 degree, I guess, T, then uh, it'll be trapped. The fine gold will be trapped in my trap. So I'll have a, I'll, I'll be using several different types of technology. I'll be using a deep trap, a cyclone and um, a fluid bed all together so come on back as uh, i'll keep filming as as i end up putting things together the first step will be putting my pipe together first okay all right thanks okay step one is trying to figure out where my center point is this is very important because you want top dead center um, you want the weight evenly distributed between east, west, north, and south, if you will. So now that I know where top dead center is, now I can trace out my uh, outline of the bottom end of my pub mix jar and create a circle that way. And it should be nice and even and should be able to equally distribute uh, the weight so it stays level. Okay, so I did a little math here to make sure that I was uh, right at the center uh, before I start um, uh, tracing out my circle. So I have to figure out what the center of the circle is, which is four and uh, four and a quarter. And then, um, then I have to figure out from the sides, I subtract uh, whatever the side is that I'm working on, subtract four and a quarter from that side, and then what's left, and I just divide it by two, and that's where I come up with where I'm at. So, sitting this on here, like this, should be hitting all the lines, and when I do hit all the lines, there we go, I know where top center is, right there. Okay, and I'll make my tracing mark. Okay, then the next step is to uh, do the same thing with my funnel. 
uh, my funnel is going to fit on top of my 45 degree T here, a one and a half inch T, which I did, and I traced out where I need to make a couple snippets all the way around my funnel so it fits tight into my T there. Okay. Okay, the first thing you need to do before you start actually constructing and putting together your pieces is uh, you need to make your marks everywhere you need to mar make your marks at. This not only makes make sure that you've taken the time to be accurate and balanced, but it also gives you the opportunity to plan things out a little better and think things through while you're doing it. Um, Typically, I'm not that way. Typically, I just do it by sight and do it like that. But this uh, this system is too important to be able to do it that way. Um, this is the system that I think will work to um, separate gold a, a whole lot easier for those of us who, who are okay panners but not great panners. Uh, this system will be able to allow us to chew through the dirt and separate the gold from the dirt a whole lot quicker, I think. So, let's make our marks. Okay, the next set of marks we need to make is at the top of the pub mix jar that we've got. Fortunately, they've done a job for us already. Top dead center is right there. How do I know? Because this set, there's a center X, and so there's another good push for buying Utz pub mix. So, in fact, if you feel that right there, there's a little bump there where top dead center is. What I'll do is I'm going to cut a circle for this right here, my T, to sit on squarely like this. And so what will end up happening in the end is I'm going to use a connector tube off of this here where I'll have to make three marks on that. I'll stick one in there so this keeps this nice and steady and nice and level. And then if you look in the bottom here, you see where the outflow goes. So the uh, dirt will go in here, and then after it's separated, it'll come out there and get trapped into my tube there. So after I make those that set of marks here and do that, then I've got to make three more marks here on my tube. Uh, I need two connectors and a uh, about a four inch tube on the end uh, to drain out of which this will leave me 16 inches here to put in there so what I'll do then is if you remember a few videos ago I made a silicone mat well this is the silicone mat that I made right here I took a mat that I bought at Home Depot and I wiped silicone on it. And if you saw that video, you saw how great it caught everything. I mean, it caught everything, including leaves and, and uh, you know, uh, acorn uh, caps, all that kind of stuff. It caught, it caught everything. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this down to make it fit into this tube here. So it's a one and a half inch tube. So I'll go one and a half inch this way, and then I'll cut this all the way here and I'll use the whole thing. This should be 12 inches. I've got four, uh, 16 to use here once I make my cuts. Uh, so I'll have about two inches on each side uh, for it to trap gold with when I'm done. Okay? Okay, so this is what we look like here. The first thing you're going to say is that doesn't look like it's top dead center there on top of that. Well, the sticker's off center, not the measurements. So we're actually, what you see is, is actual uh, balance. Okay, here's what the my carpet looks like. So that's where I'll be making my scissor cuts and cutting all the way along that edge there. Now, there's one other uh, measurement uh, hole that we need to drill here. So what I'm going to do here is, again, to give it balance, is I'm going to put a hole right there so that I can have a little bit of water flow into my funnel that will wash... Uh, wash the uh, dirt down a little easier and a lot smoother, I think. So that's where we're at with that. I've got to make that yet. Okay, so now we've got everything all marked up here. Now we got to do is start cutting and start drilling. And so that's what we're going to do next. Okay, we're back with the finished product, or I should say, uh, testing stage. 
So as you see, I've got everything hooked up. I uh, did find uh, when I ran it, had uh, some water leaks here. Duct tape wasn't good enough, uh, and the uh, filtration system here, or not the filtration, but the outlet here, um, the pump that I have isn't good enough to push it all the way through to the end. So that means that I need to cut probably that tube there in half so that we can increase the pressure, so to speak. Um, the sprinkler nozzle that I had on worked fantastic, but it just ended up pushing water out the bottom out here and, and pushing it out here as well, making it uh, just leak all over the place, as you can see. So, uh, test one, we have some partial uh, partial successes, and we have uh, several um, several fails uh, right now but we're still working on it this is part one if anybody's got some other ideas on how to do this maybe um, I may have to take that pipe and stick it into the uh, other side of the uh, plastic <coughs> pub mix um, container upside down container there that may work a little better I do have a, a um, vacuum adapter that might work on there uh, at that point right there uh, and uh, give us a little better um, performance there and then I don't have a uh, a by valve to uh, hook up both hoses to so uh, we're still working on it but that's uh, where we're headed so we're headed for a kind of a turbo system whirlpool uh, cyclone at the bottom here trying to push it out the um, the outlet here into a trap so that the gold uh, the heavy gold falls to the bottom which I can just screw off of the top and the fine gold will get caught in the trap itself and so I'll get all my gold that way um, it's a good idea just needs a little perfecting and we'll keep uh, thinking about it working on it and uh, then I'll let you know what the what the end product is. Uh, if anybody has any ideas, let me know. Please comment, share, like, and please subscribe. Okay, I appreciate it. Thank you.